And today I've got five pounds of Angus beef short ribs. These came from Fortner Ridge Farms. I have to thank my dad for these. I'm going to smoke them up on this portable A smoke. We're going to cook them. They get up to about 160, 165, and then we'll braise them in a beef and wine sauce. Let's get this A smoke fired up and get this recipe going. I'm going to start by removing some of this outer hard layer of fat. It's hard to render away during the cook and there's still plenty of fat or marbling in these ribs. Next, I'll add Worcestershire sauce as a binder for this beef. As you can see, I'm not measuring, just drizzling on all the short ribs. We just need a thin layer of this what's this here sauce all over the ribs. We'll just rub it over each side you could also use yellow mustard if you wanted. And now I'm using the armadillo pepper beef rub. Hey, this recipe will work just fine. If you don't have this, use one of your favorite beef rubs that you have available. Salt, pepper, and garlic seasoning will work just fine. We've just about got this armadillo pepper beef rub on all the sides. Now I'm going to come back in with some straight up black pepper. On beef ribs, I like a little extra black pepper and they're plenty thick so the ribs can take on this extra pepper easily. Just want to make sure we get a nice even covering on all sides and now we'll get these short ribs over on the A smoke. Get the lid shut and turn the temperature up to 225 degrees. I've got two cups of beef broth and now two cups of red wine. Use a Merlot or a Cabernet, nothing sweet and nothing expensive. This red wine will give the beef a really rich flavor as we braise these ribs. And here I've got two more tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Let's get the lid open. It's been approximately four and a half hours and our ribs have reached 165 degrees. They've got some really nice color. It is time to start the braising process. Let's place these ribs in our braise. We've already got the color we want. So you want to cover this pan tightly with this foil so that for the rest of the cook, we're actually steaming. Let's get the short ribs back on the pellet grill and keep this cook going. It's been a little more than two additional hours. So let's check to see if they're ready. Just look at the awesome color on these beef ribs. I'm checking for tenderness here, not temperature. You can see the temp probe is going in and coming back out with virtually no friction. And that is exactly what you're looking for. Just so happens the temperature is 203 degrees. It's time to get the ribs off this grill and let them rest. I'll just close the foil so I don't spill the liquid on me while I'm removing it from the grill. These short ribs have been resting here about 30 minutes. I'm going to remove the foil take one of these ribs out and we're going to get a taste test going. Just look at the color, look at that juice. Have you ever seen beef ribs this juicy? We got a nice smoke ring and this cut is super tender. Got that rich wine and broth sauce. I'm just gonna drizzle a little on there. This thing is full of juice, as you saw. I already got this piece cut here. Let me get just a little bit smaller. Super tender. Let's give it a try. Yes, sir. Mm. You get the richness from braising it in that wine and beef. You, you get that right away. And I get that little extra pepper that we put on with our rub. I don't know how good that shows up in the video. But it's just marbled with fat, full of juice. In fact, look, you don't even need the knife. It just pulls apart. It's got that nice bark on the back side. I mean, this 
Absolutely incredible. So, so beefy. Hey, thanks so much for watching. You saw how easy that was. I hope you give this recipe a try.